We're visiting this morning at Hyundai of Newport. John, our session, you've got some big news about Genesis for our viewers this morning. We do, John. It's always good to see you and be able to speak with you and your viewers. Um, Genesis is going to be launching its own brand of vehicles, uh, the first of which will arrive this summer, uh, the G90. It was the Equus previously. Um, it should arrive around uh, mid-summer, July. So we're excited about bringing um, what we provide in services uh, to support that line, uh, the G90 and the Genesis brand. And with the Hyundai technology that they're putting in the Genesis, they're also putting it in the Hyundais as well, right? That, that's the most amazing part about Hyundai is they um, put all the technology they have in their top line, let's say the G90, in an Elantra or a Sonata or a Tucson. A Tucson has brake mitigation. Uh, you know, Sonatas have lane change assist. Hyundai really is a leader in giving the customer value and putting the most amount of technology they could can in their vehicles for their customers. Well, you mentioned the Elantra, and that's the other reason why we're here, because we want to check out the redesigned 2017 Hyundai Elantra. David Brock, here it is, the redesigned 2017 Hyundai Elantra. It's been out a few months now, mm -hmm. and something tells me here at Hyundai of Newport, you sell a lot of them. We have been, and customers have loved the redesigned Elantra. It offers more safety technology, comfort for everybody in the family. It's a great vehicle. Our customers have been very happy. Now, Hyundai, it seems like they've tried to adopt the front look of the Sonata, correct? Correct. They've gone into their fluid, fluidic design, too, which has lengthened the lines on the vehicle, broadened the front nose, put in a hexagonal grille that's similar in every model Hyundai is creating. Yeah. The engine has changed from 2016 to 17. We've gone to a 2.0 four-cylinder engine with a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more torque, has a nice feel as you're accelerating down the road. A little better gas mileage? Yeah, better gas mileage, especially in the city driving. You've gone up. On the highways, about 38 miles to the gallon. Combined, you're going to be about 32. So right now, the Elantra comes in an SE and a Limited. In a few months, or later this year, it's going to have an Echo version, which is going to have a 1.6 liter turbo engine in it. Give you a little bit better fuel economy. Same safety features, but more fuel economy. Now, what model is this we're looking at? We're looking at a limited with the technology package. So just about everything the Elantra has to offer. David, very nice, very comfortable inside the new Elantra. So what makes the limited the limited? The limited comes with leather seating, leather wrapped steering wheel and gear shift, heated front and rear seats. Wow. Yeah. In an Elantra. In an Elantra. <laughs> a power driver seat, super comfortable. It is. Um, even with the two of us in here, yeah. there's plenty of room in the front. So. Uh, no doubt, so, some nice, uh, soft, upgraded materials mm -hmm. uh, throughout. Mm -hmm. um, we have the seven inch screen, and we also have a little information screen here in the middle. What is this going to tell the driver? It tells you everything you need to know. How many miles left in the tank, what your average fuel economy is, what your instant fuel mileage is, and then trip A and trip B, and then a yep. digital speedometer so, so you can scroll see, right through. Scroll right through. Yep. And then it has other things that'll show you. Navigation, yep. your route, your next turn's coming up, what radio station you're listening to. So if you have the map in the center, you can still see what you're listening to on the radio. Just stuff as a driver that makes it more convenient. Mm -hmm. Now, in this is the limited, so it has the navigation. One of the great things is, in all the Elantras, they have the seven inch screen available, which even if it doesn't have nav, with the Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto, your navigation from your phone will come right up there. And nice. you don't have to have nav necessarily yeah. in the car. That's the new thing, and yeah. the Elantra's got it. Absolutely. It can look complicated real fast, but it's, I'm sure it's pretty simple. Yeah, it's very intuitive. Uh, the great thing about it is with all the audio style and navigation, it's voice activated. So you don't have to be playing with buttons. Your hands can stay on the steering wheel, and you tell it what you want it to do. David, is it me or does it seem like Hyundai's not afraid to share a lot of this technology, even with the Elantra? Yeah, that they have all this technology in the higher models, bring it into the Elantra and keep it at a reasonable price. I mean, right. For $25,000, you're in leather seats, navigation, unbelievable technology. It makes well, it an enjoyable ride. David, what is drive mode? Drive mode allows you as a driver to change the tension in the steering wheel, the sportiness of the vehicle. There's three settings. One is eco, then there's normal and sport. 
Eco gets you the best mileage possible, has a softer feel in the wheel, sport, lets the engine rev a little bit more, feels sporty when you're driving, and tightens the, the, suspend, the steering so you have a more sporty feel. David, the Elantra is terrific. How's the inventory? The inventory is great. We have a wide selection of colors and packages. Mm -hmm. If somebody's looking for it, we can get it. One of the great things about Hyundai of Newport is that we work really closely with our customers to make them happy. I know everybody says that they have great customer service. We follow through. We have a great service department. We have a great sales department who does everything to make our customers happy.